So we're done with the plotting triangle or the basic plotting triangle. Uh, last topic, what we need to discuss is the difference between the vector and then the trail. However, I've given you this, right? Please wait for a moment. Do you see my screen right now? Nakikita nyo? Yes, sir. Kita na po, sir. All right. It says there, no? Ito yung last na binigay ko sa inyo. Okay? Tama ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I want you to check it by yourselves. Okay? I want you to check it by yourselves. It's a six-minute plot. And I will show you. I will show you the step to step by step guide on how it is done. It is very important for you to know that online class tayo hindi ito laboratory, meaning to say it's a lecture. Okay, so ang topic it's the correct usage. So how will you know if you have done correctly on uh how will you know if you have plotted it correctly or have appraised or evaluated your radar transfer plotting sheet and in comparison with the ARPA that is giving you the automatic uh, information. Kasi with week 9, it's giving you or it's showing you the automatic information na ano-ano yung information na yun. Uh, those are uh, closest point of approach, time of closest point of approach, bow crossing range, bearing, distance, etc. Okay? So with this question that is uh, at hand, your ship is on course 345 degrees, speed of 15 knots. Following radar contact at 8.30, bearings 3 to 9, range 9 miles. So first bearing and range 3 to 9 by 9 miles. Six minutes after 8.36, same contact bearings 3 to 6. So it's just a 3 degrees difference from the first bearing and at a range of 6 miles. So in six minutes, tumakbo siya ng 3 miles, gentlemen. If you're going to analyze it, 9 minus 6, it's 3 miles in just 6 minutes. Imagine that. So the question is, what will be the CPA on those first two observations? What is the contact's relative speed? What is the contact's true speed? Okay. When the range to contact drops to 4.5 miles, so at 4.5, that will be your point of MX. Remember? The MX point, I have told you, meaning to say the point of MX, it is the point wherein you want to take action. Because of that point of MX, ibig sabihin sa 4.5 miles, yung target mo, sa 4.5 miles, you want to alter your course or you want to alter your speed, whichever is applicable, para magkaroon ka ng 2 miles na CPA. Naintindihan? Na panibagong CPA. Kasi mag alter ka sa 4.5 miles, ang resulta nun, given na, magkakaroon ka ng CPA na 2 miles. Now, what is your new course? Ibig sabihin, alteration of course ang mangyayari. Understood? Plus, do you understand? Or uh, is there any one of you who is in doubt? Meron ba ta, uh, is there any one of you who is in doubt? Raise your hand if you are. No one? Okay. If no one is in doubt, if no one is in doubt, then let's proceed with a step-by-step -step guide. Step one, notice the plot is a six-minute plot. Speed, distances, and time will be based on a factor 1 is to 10, 1 over 10. Using a maneuvering board or radar transfer plotting sheet, draw a line from the center, that is our ship, in the direction the vessel is heading. Okay? So ito yung heading mo, ito yung position mo, and this is your heading. This represents a heading flasher. In this case, our course is 345. So ito yun. 345 degrees 
true. Step two. Plot the first uh, 0830. So at 830, meron kang observation na 329 and range of 9 miles. So with that, ang range scale na gagamitin mo, remember, range scale is 12 miles. So for each concentric circle, meaning that will be equivalent to 1. So you will use 1 is to 1. 1 concentric circle is equal to 1 nautical mile. And 9 miles is given somewhere here at 8.30 bearing. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you please check your own work, radar transfer planning sheet? Step three, locate E on the E plot, set out dividers for the distance. Our vessel will travel in the interval of the plot, in this case, six minutes at a speed of 15 minutes, uh, 15 knots or 15 nautical miles. So uh, you're going to transfer your heading from here, from this heading up to align to the first observation, which is echo. So in six minutes, dahil ang observation mo six minutes, and given na, of course, given na yung speed mo, which is 15 knots, ilang milya ang tatakbuin mo, okay, sa speed na 15 knots and six minutes. And with that, you have to use the DST formula. Distance is equals to is speed times time over 60. Kindly please calculate 15 times 6 over 60 is one point five miles. All right. So it's 1.5 miles. So use your divider, use your divider, gentlemen and ladies and measure 1.5 miles from the distance scale that you have used, which is 1 is to 1. If it's been 1 concentric circle is 1 nautical mile, measure 1.5 mile and then put the other leg on the R and the other leg on the, uh, on the line wherein you drone your own course and speed. Dito. Okay? With that, gumamit ka ng divider or compass mo, naguhitan mo, and that point will be your point E. Echo, it's point E. Okay? Next. So, given na si uh, one side of the triangle which is the E to R or your own course and speed. Ali now? Sir, body point bearing and sir is 345 degrees. Yes. Ang bearing ng target, okay? No, that, uh, the three, it's not the bearing. Kapag sinabing bearing, we're talking about the target bearing. Pag sinabing heading, yun yung heading natin. Okay? Yun yung course natin. Naintindihan? 345, itong line na to, itong mahabang line, yung unang ginawa mo as per step 1, you transferred it to the R. Meaning to say, gagawa ka lang ng linya, mahaba. After that, you can erase kung ano man yung sobra. And then, yung formula na DST, you have to multiply because distance is equal to speed times time over 60. Gentlemen, wag niyong sayangin ang boses ko. Sundan niyo yung radar transfer plotting sheet niyo. Kapag may mali, pakicorrect. 15 times 6 over 60, that is equivalent to 1.5 miles. Tama? 1.5 miles, measure mo dito sa distance scale. Okay? Kung ano yung ginamit mo na 1 is to 1 kanina, measure 1.5. And that 1.5, yung other leg ng divider mo, ilagay mo sa R. And the other leg, i-intercross mo doon sa line na ginawa mo from your heading na tinransfer mo. Para ma-identify mo si letter E. Okay? Pag mayroon ka ng point ni E, E to R stands for your own course and speed. Understood? Yes, sir. Very good. Now we go to step 4. Locate M. Step 4, it is the second observation. Second observation mo, 
After 6 minutes, that is 0836, bearing mo ay 326 at a range of 6 miles. Ito na yun. Okay? So from your position, on this position, bearing ng vessel 326, sundan mo lang, andito yung mga degrees. And measure mo kung ilang range, 6 miles, that will be your point M. Okay? So given na lahat, ERM, then therefore, you already have your plotting triangle. Okay? You can solve for the own course for the other vessels or targets vessel course and speed by connecting E to M because your E to R is your own course and speed. Your R to M is the relative motion line or relative uh, targets, relative course and speed. Relative, ha? But your E to M your E to M is your targets through course and speed. So dito na darating sa part natin, which is relative and which is true. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So, step five. Step five. My God. Uh -huh. There you go. Now, step five, create a line from R to M. Gumawa kayo ng line, yung point ni R at saka point ni M. Dikit mo lang yung ruler mo or parallel or triangle. Create a line going there. After you create a line, pass your position. Ito yung position mo. Then, 90 degrees from this line, it will be your point of closest of uh, closest point of approach or point of closest approach. Ibig sabihin, relative motion ng other vessel mo, it will give you the CPA. First CPA to. RML stands for relative motion line. It transfer mo tong line na to sa gitna. You will see here, banda dito yan, kung ilan ang relative motion, direction of relative motion or the DRML. Okay? So alam na kung paano kumuha ng CPA? Class? Now do we yes, know how to get the CPA? 90 degrees from the relative motion line and connected to the center of our uh, vessel on the maneuvering board. It will give us the CPA. Now we go to step six. Step six. Now the point of MX comes. Sabi natin kanina, we have to produce a new CPA of two miles. So measure two, two miles dito. From your position, measure two miles. And then after that, it says there at 4.5 miles, you will have to alter your course. So measure from this point up to the line on the relative motion line, 4.5 miles. Pagka measure mo, that will be your point of MX. Ibig sabihin, while observing the other vessel at 4.5 miles, you will alter your course. And with that alteration, you will produce a new CPA of 2 miles. Okay? Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, we go to step seven. And with that new CPA and new direction of relative motion line, you are going to determine, determine which course to steer in order for you to have a new CPA of two miles. So itong line na to from point MX going this direction, transfer this using your parallel ruler or triangles back to M. Ito sa point M. And then, but on that direction. Okay, on that direction. So tinansfer mo si MX line, MX from this point MX, and this line up to the M. Okay? So remember, E to R is your own course and speed. 
Naalala nyo? Itong point na to, E to R, is your own force and speed. Now, you have to determine your new, new course and speed. That will be the E to R1. What is the R1? Kung saan siya mag-intersect, gentlemen, this one. Saan siya mag-intersect? Let me enlarge. Okay. So, now do you see the ER1, the R1 itself? Okay, create a line from E to R1 wherever it intersects after after transferring the line from the point MX to your point M, then that will be your new course to steer. Transfer transfer this, gentlemen, transfer this E to R1 to the center of your maneuvering board and it will show you a new course to steer. Ito yun. New course to steer, the answer is 0, 1, 2 degrees. Now, who amongst you have got the correct answer? You know, or have uh, have uh, plotted the pro uh, correctly? Nakuha ba? All right. Uh, Banasco, Eric. That's good. Si Eric lang? Si Eric lang ba gumawa? Okay. Very good. So, si R pa, gentlemen, hindi na niya ginagawa ito. No? Hindi na niya, uh, the R pa is a computer that automatically calculates all of this okay, data. But I'm just telling you or explaining to you the importance of radar navigation without the use of the ARPA itself or without automatically calculating it. The importance of the radar transfer plotting sheet is where in you will have to determine your point of alteration of course or your point of alteration of speed. But the alteration of speed will depend whether the engine room is manned. Okay, that is in reality. If the engine room is unmanned, then you cannot immediately alter your speed. Why? Then because you might damage your engine. Okay, and with that, uh, collision will uh, will have uh, uh, will give you more risk. Okay? risk of collision will have will provide you with more uh, percentage of risk. And with that, our week ten it's all about fall regs. So you're going you're gonna go back to the regulations with the collision regulations which we we have discussed in your first year okay please write this down or screenshot this one things that can go wrong on a radar plot uh, make sure to draw an e to r and not an r r to e line double check the plotting intervals it can be a 12 minute rule a six minute rule or even a 15-minute rule, gentlemen. Make sure that any course or speed adjustments are made in the triangle. MX is not part of the triangle. The line drawn from MX must be paralleled back to M. Remember that, number three, gentlemen. Line drawn from MX must be paralleled back to M in the original triangle. Always tinker in the triangle. Number four. Remember that in determining times after MX, time calculations must be made on the basis length of R1 to M. Okay? So R1 is your new, okay? Because E to R1, it's the new, new course to steer. Okay? So with R1, that is the uh, later observation or the new observation after the alteration itself. So. If you're going to calculate time of closest point of approach, it should be based on the R1 and not from the R itself already since you have altered your course. Now, I'm going to give you another exercise for those who have not taken the correct or answered correctly on our first exercise. This is the next exercise. Screenshot. 
Two four five degrees, eight and knots. Okay. Zero four four three two seven seven eight point five. Zero four five five same contact bridge two seven zero four point seven knots. I'm gonna give you a tip. It's a twelve minute flood. Flood speeds are divided or multiplied by five. So divided or multiplied by five. Questions are: What are the CPA? What are the CPA? True course, true speed, 0.458, your point of MX time, CPA is two miles. What will be your new ship's course? And at 0.458, you cannot change course, so you want to change speed instead of alteration of course. Uh, contact crossing your bow, CPA two miles, what is your ship's new speed? Kindly please screenshot and then print it out and do it in your radar transfer plotting sheet. Understood? Yes, sir. Copy book. Okay. If you have taken, let me screenshot the atten attendance first, and I'm going to stop screen sharing right now. Sir, permission to speak po, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, about po dun sa ano, sir, sa mga, sa mga 